uh, Angelo State. She saw the Rambells improve from 1-13 in, in, in the 2021 season to 15-13 and 13 in 21 and 22. Well, let's get started here in the Harrington Patriots Center. McGee wins the tip for Angelo State. The Rambells in black. Well, UT Tyler in their white uniforms. One of the bigger games of the season. Both these teams competing for a nice playoff spot. First shot, no good before Madeline Stevens and Angelo State. UT Tyler still competing for that top spot in the Lone Star Conference. Here's Mendezona in the paint, kicks out. Palmer thought about the three. And a layup from Ella Bradley, no good. Angelo State back with it. They average 70 points a game compared to 65 given up a game. Morrow. Over to Lumpston. And out of bounds off of Ella Bradley. Speaking of that nice game against TWU on, let's see, when is that? Next Thursday, February 29th. Shot clock violation on Angelo State, UT Tyler basketball. Speaking of that game next Thursday against TWU for UT Tyler. TWU, number seven team in the country. UT Tyler went to their house, beat them 61 to 55 on December 30th. And since then, the Pioneers have not lost a basketball game. That is their only loss in the conference. And that'll end the season. It'll be very interesting to see how that one pans out. They play against UTPB at 2 p.m. today. Gutierrez to the basket, no good. Lumsden in the paint, goes up with the left hand, can't get the bucket, but a foul called. Two free throws coming up. A minute 50 into this one, still no bucket. Lumpston played in 29 games, starting eight of them. And she makes them both. Two nothing, Angelo State. As Mendezona brings it up for the Patriots. One of the best defenses in the country UT Tyler has, but their offense has really been blossoming recently. Starting to find, well, they found their stride pretty much all season, but they've been shooting the ball well. They scored the ball really well on Thursday night against UTPB as Mendezona goes to the basket. All tied up at two. Here's McGee, step back triple. No good. No one on Morrow, and Morrow gets a rebound put back. There's Makalova, and a foul underneath on Stevens. Tyler basketball underneath. Mendezona. Here's Makalova. Takes one dribble in. Three pointer. Ella Bradley rooms out. Last season, these two teams met twice. 
Angelo State won the first game around in the Lone Star Conference Tournament. It was round two. They beat UT Tyler 62-53. to But then the tournament game is there's a three. Brooklyn Palmer hits a three. Big three there for Brooklyn Palmer. UT Tyler back on top, five to four. But in the NCAA tournament game, UT Tyler won 71 to 61. That was round two. And in that game, Visa Heavenberg, Megan Mendezona, and Francis King all had 18 points. But for Angelo State, it was McGee who had 23 points, eight rebounds. And then Lloyd also had 12 points, eight rebounds. So we're looking for another great game here today. Angelo State leading by one. Makalova corner three, too strong. Here's Morrow. Underneath still Morrow. Layup misses. Makalova. Wing three, no good. Almost a rebound to Bradley. Couldn't caress it. And here's Angelo State. Morrow's got it. Stops, pops, nails it. UT Tyler now trailing by three. Bradley, too strong on the layup. Underneath, Stevens can't get it. UT Tyler, another empty possession from Ella Bradley. McGee. Lloyd misses the jumper. Lots of quick offense and great defense going back and forth so far. Bradley cross court to Mendezona. Mendezona had a good look in the corner there. She decided to give it up. Here's Makalova. She stopped up. Back over the top to Gutierrez. Three seconds on the shot clock. Kicked out. Palmer at the buzzer. And she misses everything. That is great defense there from Angelo State. We'll take immediate time out when we get back. More UT Tyler basketball. Coach Alvitrez was asked what her team needs to do to get to the next step. She said, well, we tell this team, well, this is their team. If they have the right attitude and they're hungry enough, and we can see what will happen. Our job is to prepare them and just try to extend the season one game at a time. Angelo State basketball. The Ram Bells up by three. Jumper no good, offensive foul. That's gonna be called on Kaniah Williams. Francis King running the point for UT Tyler. She goes across to Gutierrez, triple from the corner, nails it. All tied up at eight. Deflection. Stolen by Whitehead. Whitehead in the paint. Can't get it with the right hand. Angelo State back with the basketball. Both offenses have been slow to start. Here's a three from Honey, and she nails it. Madison Honey, a junior from Copers Cove. Shot no good for UT Tyler. They've shot three for 13 
in this game this far. One for seven, excuse me, one for eight in their last eight shots. But Narzik, no good, gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. Largest lead so far for Angelo State. Michi Tyler unranked in the WC, WBCA preseason poll, or excuse me, in the WBCA poll. They're ranked number 21 in the D2 CSC poll. Elliott off the mark. Bradley gets a rebound, Whitehead underneath, wide open. Here's Williams, and a foul is called. That's Bradley's first foul. Angelo State, number four in scoring in the Lone Star Conference, while UT Tyler's number one in defense and point margin. Fourteen to ten. Elliott, the jumper, too strong. Whitehead gets the board. Whitehead, three, no good. A minute 10 remaining in the first quarter of action. Proven to be a good one so far. Lots of defense. McGee, what a move. Angelo stayed up by six. Bradley out to Whitehead. King eyes up the defender. Pops from deep. Can't get it. Angelo State slows it down. Two seconds separating shot clock and game clock. Lloyd, triple, nails it. Nine point lead for Angelo State. UT Tyler likely to take the final shot here in the first quarter. Under 10, King's got it. Gives it up to Whitehead. Three seconds, back to King. Three, no good. Well, a great quarter from Angelo State, leading by nine. They finished. The UT Tyler down by nine as the second quarter begins. Mendezona back in the game along with Polina Ladashiva. to Elliott, hands it off. Five on the shot clock, Whitehead, off the glass, no good, rebound down to Elliott, what she does best. A put back for Gabriella, we're gonna need to see more of that. There's a foul as Madeline Stevens was headed towards the basket. Two free throws coming up for her. Gabby Elliott on the other end with a fantastic rebound. She's had a number of big rebounding games. She had a 
a big rebounding game earlier this season against St. Edwards. She had 15 boards. She was the Lone Star Conference freshman of the year last season with St. Mary's. Decided to transfer over to UT Tyler. Out to East Texas. 21 to 12. Back to a nine point game. Angelo State on top. Whistle blows. Foul on the Rambells. Alexander Bednar Bednarzik. Checks in. Madeline Stevens goes and takes a seat. It's Tyler basketball. You get it into Whitehead. Elliott in the post. Five on the shot clock. Underneath. Elliott, a wide open lane. Twenty one fourteen. Deep three, but Narsic can't get it to go. UT Tyler, full head of steam. They slow it down. Bradley. Elliott, another wide open basket. That's six points for Elliott back to back to back. 21 16. Offensive foul. UT Tyler starting to shift the momentum. My goodness. Elliott checks out, Makalova checks in. Mendezona into Elliott, double teamed. Or excuse me, into Makalova, wide open again. Ella Bradley, UT Tyler finding the weaknesses of this Angelo State defense in the paint. Three-point game. Outside, that's near. H and near, inside, and a foul called on the layup. You see Tyler on a 6-0 run. As H and near... Looks to change that, a six foot sophomore out of France. Last year played in 32 games, making 15 starts. She scored, or she averaged 2.1 points a game. In the Lone Star Conference Tournament last season, near had seven rebounds against UT Tyler. She misses the rim on the second one. Goes one for two. Four point game. Gutierrez checks back into the game. Whitehead goes and takes a seat. Out of Shiva. Gutierrez in the paint, blocked, and a foul. Gutierrez, two free throws coming up. 18 points, four rebounds, two assists. Last game for Gutierrez. She shot nine three-pointers. First free throw up and in. And the second one good. 
two-point game. McGee to Lumsden in the corner. Now Lloyd resets. Lloyd takes a screen. Pass to McGee. Can't get the layup, but a put back and one. Angelo State. A little bit of energy. Tay McGee makes the free throw. She has been a heck of a player for Angelo State. Makalova. Mendezona in the paint. Gets it to go. McGee, short on the three. Vladashiva fires from deep. McGee down with the rebound. Three-point lead for Angelo State. Right now, UT Tyler's outscoring Angelo State in the second quarter, 12-6. Lumsden almost loses it. Snags a one-handed grab. Lumsden. Three-pointer and it good. Strong game so far from Angelo State. They've really been sharing the ball well. Every single player that's touched the floor for the Rambells except for one has gotten a bucket. Outside, Mendezona short on the three. Here comes Lloyd, a pass over to Near. Goes off the mark, rebound, tracked down by Ella Bradley. Bradley up the floor to Makalova, and Makalova can't handle the pass. Out of bounds, media timeout. 28-22, 4.46 on the clock. You're watching U Low State Weekend here in UT Tyler as UT Tyler men's and women's basketball playing Angelo State today as well as softball making their uh, first home game appearance as they're playing just down the road as there's a steal from Ella Bradley. And she slows it down. And then baseball playing in San, San Angelo. Got to love it when these two teams meet as there's a three off the mark from Makalova. Neal almost got the rebound. It's always good competition between UT Tyler and Angelo State. Historically, great program for Angelo State. Fun to watch in just about every single sport. It's a foul on Bradley, so we, excuse me. Kaniya Williams will have free throws. Sophomore from Georgetown, Texas. Well, Angelo State, pretty much the same team as last year. 12 returners, two brand new players. Those two players are freshmen. They've got zero transfers. UT Tyler also 12 returners. Second free throw, no good. Ella Bradley gets fouled on the way up. Gabby Elliott checks in for Makalova. Elliott's got six points that all came on back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back layups that were wide open underneath the basket. 
Bradley's first free throw is good, makes it a six-point game. And the second one, also good. Lloyd up to Lumsden. Lumsden, jumper. Down to Neal. Neal with some pace. Slows it down. Gives it up to Mendezona. Spins. Kicks. Three. Good! Monse Gutierrez brings it within two. Gutierrez, eight points. Excuse me, 11 points. As McGee, too strong on the layup. Back-to-back, double-digit games for Monse Gutierrez. Neal goes up and gets fouled. No, excuse me. Gutierrez has eight points. Ryan Neal's got two free throws. This is the first. 310 until halftime. Angie Tyler would love to take this lead going into halftime as both for both free throws miss from Mariah Neal. Those would have been big. Kicked out Lloyd. Foot was on the line. Doesn't doesn't go. Here's UT Tyler. Elliott to Neal. Inside Brooklyn Palmer. She gets a layup. Tied up 29 all. And a turnover. UT Tyler has shifted the momentum, outscoring Angelo State by nine in the quarter, 19 to 10, with 2.30 remaining until halftime. Mendezona can't get it. McGee, double team, over to Morrow. Angelo moving the ball quick around the perimeter. McGee. Now Lloyd, back to McGee in the corner. McGee has had trouble finding any kind of shot opportunity. Almost taken away, a shot clock violation. What a defensive stand from UT Tyler. They are kicking it into high gear. It looked like an errant pass for Mendezona went out of bounds. Angelo State takes it. Oh, there's another steal. UT Tyler gets it this time. And another steal. Angelo State gets it. Messy basketball. Three. Lloyd gets a bounce. Angelo State. Up by three. Minute 18. Halftime nearing us. Mendezona stops, jumper, good. Less than a minute. Angelo up by one. Lumsden. 
Gives it up to Morrow. Morrow loses it. Out of bounds, UT Tyler basketball with 36 seconds on the clock. Six seconds between shot clock and game clock. Down by one. Mendezona just shaving time off the clock. Palmer inside. Elliott goes up. Can't get the layup. Five seconds. Angelo State bringing the ball up. Three seconds. Lumsden, jumper, no good. That puts us to halftime. 32 to 31. Angelo State outscored UT Tyler by nine in the first quarter. Also made eight free throws in this game. Well, here we go. Second half of basketball ready to go here in the Harrington Patriots Center. Jumper no good for Angelo State. They get an offensive board. McGee, short, another offensive rebound. Lumsden over to Morrow. Bounce pass in the paint. Stevens kicks out. Five on the shot clock. Lumsden, no gun on the layup. And Bradley gets a rebound. UT Tyler looking to take the lead for the first time since it was 5-4. to four. Gutierrez poked not out of bounds. Somehow it stayed in. Lloyd's got it. Down to Stevens. Ball rolls out. And they call it UT Tyler basketball. I'm not sure how that ball did not go out of bounds. McGee looked like it, like she poked it out, but it stayed in. I, I, I'm not sure what the physics are for that. Palmer underneath, gets her own rebound. Looking for a pass, nowhere to go. And whistle blows. I believe it was three seconds in the key. A turnover from UT Tyler. Lloyd guarded by Mendezona. UT Tyler in a 2-3 zone. Morrow kicks out. Stevens drills a three. Extends the Rambells lead to four. Makalova baseline and a foul called on Morrow. Excuse me, Lloyd called for the foul there. Get it into Palmer. Now to Gutierrez. Gutierrez takes a screen and a foul on Morrow. Angelo State out rebounding UT Tyler 22 to 17. Great rebounding team. Averaging 41 a game. Out rebounding by a margin of four on average. Turnover. Angelo State takes over again. McGee spins, shoots, and scores. Six-point lead for Angelo State. UT Tyler yet to score in two and a half minutes. 
Three for Makalova. Tracks down her own rebound. Out to Gutierrez. Triple. No. The 2014 and 2016 UT Tyler women's basketball teams in the building tonight. As there's a layup from Stevens. That 2014 season, UT Tyler went 27 and 4. They were ASC champions, made it to the Sweet 16 as there's a layup from Tina Makalova. Gets the first bucket of the second half for UT Tyler. And in that 2016 season, they went 30 and 2. They were ASC champions and made the Elite Eight. Great to have them back here in Tyler. Makalova kicking out. Bradley miscues a pass, goes out of bounds. Sloppy basketball to start for UT Tyler. Bradley with a block. Corner Gutierrez. Back up top to Bradley. And whistle blows down low. A foul on Angelo State. Destiny Whitehead checks in for Tina Makalova. Bradley up top, tries to get it to Whitehead down low. And a foul is going to be called on Destiny Whitehead. Okay. UT Tyler struggling in this third quarter. Stevens over to Honey. Stevens triple and drains it. Nine-point game. Tied for the largest lead of the day. Mendezona step through, layup good, and a foul. Mendezona with a beautiful step through move and Still getting the bucket through contact. A 78.3% free throw shooter this season. And she converts on the N1 free throw down to a six point game after the three point play. Morrow. Jumper from Lumsden gets it home. Tyler defense has let up nine points here in the third quarter. Mendezona hands off. Bradley in the paint. Fakes. Fakes again. Kicks out. Five on the shot clock. Mendezona taken away. Madeline Stevens with pace. Angelo State slows down, but Lumsden finds a lane. Can't get it. UT Tyler catches a break. Mendezona behind the back. Out to Palmer, triple, no good. UT Tyler's offense is just struggling. Another three and a lucky bounce, Madeline Stevens. 
Angelo State goes up by 11. And a timeout called. Largest lead of the day for Angelo State. Angelo State outscoring UT Tyler 15 to five in the third quarter of action and UT Tyler decides to make some changes. Out there on the court, Francis King, Monse Gutierrez, Maddie Tate, Gabby Elliott, and Destiny Whitehead. And Gabby Elliott throws it away, a quick turnover. Jumper from McGee off the front of the rim. Tate grabs the board. Gutierrez, trifecta! A massive three-pointer for Monse Gutierrez. She's at 11 points. Out of bounds off of Angelo State. An immediate timeout with three minutes on the clock. 47 to 39 for UT Tyler as they control their own destiny. They win tonight and they win next Thursday. They are Lone Star Conference regular season champs. King can't get it. Rebound down to Elliott. Kicked out. Whitehead triple off the rim. Balls on the ground. And travel. UT Tyler catches a massive break as Near goes down with the ball, trying to keep it away from UT Tyler players. And they call it a travel. King over the top to Whitehead. Whitehead runs the offense. Tate. Over to Gutierrez. And a foul. That's the fifth Angelo State foul. So Monse Gutierrez will have free throws. First one up and in. And the second one good. Six-point ball game. Stolen. King takes it herself. Four-point game. Angelo State sticking with it. Morrow goes up and she's fouled. You couldn't ask for a better game than this. Two fantastic teams in the Lone Star Conference, both with high hopes in the postseason, battling out at the very end of the regular season. Angelo State, they've got three more games. UT Tyler just two, including this one. UT Tyler taking on number seven, TWU, next Thursday night. Angelo State taking on UTPB twice, once next Wednesday and the other next Saturday. First one in Odessa, second one in San Angelo. Angelo State not having uh, the year that they had hoped to have. Still having a great year. But they've struggled in a number of games. As the first, throw, first free throw is good for Morrow. 
Both these teams have a loss to Arkansas Fort Smith. Angelo State coming off two straight losses against Midwestern State and Texas women's. A missed shot there, just hung on the front of the rim for a, a good, good moment there. Angelo State takes over. Lloyd in the paint, kicks out. And here's Morrow to the corner. Honey, triple, no. McGee with a rebound. And she travels as she was falling down with the basketball. And McGee's now at 10 rebounds. Seven points, 10 rebounds. Definitely a drastic change from Thursday night as she had 39 points in the game. Still plenty of time to be played. However, a little bit slower of a, a start. 49-43, a minute to go. Whitehead. Travels. Into McGee, she's fouled. Count the bucket. A free throw would give her a double-double. Nine points, 10 rebounds. And the free throw is good. So McGee secures herself a double-double. It's 52 to 43. 45 seconds remaining. UT Tyler looking for some kind of push. Bradley. Over to Gutierrez. Whitehead. Floater. Can't get a bounce. And it's out of bounds off of Destiny Whitehead. Angelo State basketball full court press from UT Tyler. Looking for a steal, can't get it. Lloyd gets a pass half court back tomorrow. Lloyd double teamed, takes a screen. Over to McGee. Stevens, floater, rebound to King. And the buzzer sounds, end of the third quarter. And it looks like a repeat from the first half. As, as they look to keep that rolling, they're gonna need to have a great fourth quarter. UT Tyler starting off with the basketball. Whitehead in the paint, can't get the layup. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Destiny Whitehead. Well, UT Tyler has had troubles in this gym this season. Although they are 13 and 0 on this court. As a foul gets called on Bradley. Bradley doesn't agree. Speaking about UT Tyler's troubles on this court, they've had troubles on this court. And they had it a few games ago against St. Edwards. They won 74 to 71, but that was not easy to get there. They were trailing by 17 with a minute to go in the third quarter. And they came all the way back going on a 30 to 10 run in the final 11 minutes of the game. 
to win by three. And they're looking for another big run here tonight. King, jumper, no good. 10 point game. UT Tyler needs to get rolling. They need to do what they did in the second quarter. And an offensive foul on Maddie, Madeline Stevens. UT Tyler catches a break. Can they take advantage of it? Mendezona. Now Makalova top of the key. Makalova tries to get to the paint. Gets stopped. Kicks out. Gutierrez triple no good. Goes out of bounds. Off of Angelo State will stick with UT Tyler, they could really use a bucket. Makalova, oh my goodness, what a Euro. A beautiful move from Tina Makalova to split the defenders. Now an eight point game. Can they get a stop? Jumper just bounces out for Madeline Stevens. You know, there has been a lot of uh, lucky bounces here today from both sides to get the ball to go in the basket. That one just didn't quite get lucky enough. Ella Bradley back out top. Makalova gets a screen. Guarded by McGee. Makalova hook shot. Out of bounds off of UT Tyler. Seven thirty one remaining. Plenty of time to be played. But UT Tyler needs to take advantage of every single second. Stolen. Bradley to Gutierrez. And a foul on the way to the basket. Shot will not count. As it was before the shot. Whitehead out top. Three good. Big three-pointer from UT Tyler. As it's now a five-point game, UT Tyler takes a timeout with seven minutes to go. So a big, big game next Thursday night. Something to look forward to most definitely. Tyler on a 5-0 run. There's Angelo State. Three from Stevens. Off back iron. Whitehead's got it. Mendezona to the corner. Gutierrez. Now to Bradley. UT Tyler sets up their play. And it's stolen. Bad pass from Gutierrez. Here comes Morrow. Blocked by Mendezona. What a block. Mendezona on the other end. She gets it. Three point game. Four minutes in, UT Tyler outscoring 
Angelo State 7-1 in the fourth quarter. Stevens to McGee. She gets a bucket to end the 7-0 drought. A foul on this defense. Angelo State thought that was an offensive foul. So three fouls committed by Angelo State. That will be Landry Morrow's fourth. Makalova. To the corner, Gutierrez loses it. McGee takes it away. Lumsden over to Morrow. Lloyd double teams into McGee. McGee jumper gets a bounce. And an Angelo State seven point lead. Mendezona fades, can't get the layup. And a rebound down to Angelo State. Under five minutes to go. Inside Stevens. Back out Morrow. Misses off to the left. Here comes UT Tyler. Full head of steam. Gutierrez, triple off the front rim. Rebound Makalova. Here's another three. Another miss. Timeout, Angelo State. A seven point game, UT Tyler trailing. 4.16 to go. You're watching UT Tyler basketball on the Lone Star Cup. Four minutes, 16 seconds. Remain in this one, 57 to 50. Angelo State with the advantage. Into Stevens. Wow, the passing for Angelo State. Lloyd gets a three, extends the lead to 10. UT Tyler needs to get rolling, and now both offense and defense. Neal, triple, wow! Back to a seven point game. Morrow to Lumsden, back to Morrow. You see Tyler been in this 2-3 zone almost the whole game. They get it to the corner, Lumsden gets a three right back. Double digit lead again. Under three minutes. Mendezona gets a three. That is four threes in a row with no misses. Seven point game, 230. Lloyd, inside Stevens, corner. No good on the three. Ball's on the ground, rebound down to UT Tyler. They need a bucket. And a foul called. That's gonna be on Lloyd. That's the fourth team foul in the quarter for Angelo State. 
as Makalova checks back in for Whitehead. 2.08 on the clock, seven point game. UT Tyler basketball, they need a bucket. Makalova out of bounds off of Angelo State. Mendezona ready to pass it in. Nothing open, gets it into Makalova. Shoots it immediately too strong. McGee brings it up the floor, slows it down. You'd imagine Angelo State is going to try to take as much time off the clock as they can. Stevens fouled. Stevens a 69.4 free throw percentage on the year. She's got 13 points on the game. She misses the first. And the second one falls. Eight point game. A minute 46. You see Tyler desperately needs a basket into Bradley to the corner Gutierrez triple yes five point game it's Angelo State basketball full court press from UT Tyler as the Patriots back off, Lloyd brings it past half court as she sets up the offense. The Patriots need a stop here. Inside McGee, out to Lloyd, thought about the three, decided against it. And a travel. Lumston travels. It's UT Tyler basketball with a five-point deficit and a minute three to go. Bradley in the paint, step through, layup, three-point game. Forty seconds. Three-pointer from Morrow. No good. Rebound to the Patriots. And Bradley's fouled. That's the fifth team foul on Angelo State. So that will put Ella Bradley at the free throw line. There's one second separating shot clock and game clock. You gotta imagine if if they if the Patriots bought it brought it past the floor or brought brought it past half court without a foul would they have gone for a three pointer? First one's good from Ella Bradley, 68% free throw shooter. Down to a two point basketball game. The second one no good, and an immediate. Was that a timeout? Not exactly sure. They're resetting the inbounds pass. Now a timeout is issued to Angelo State. UT Tyler gonna play very tough defense, you'd imagine. Looking for a steal, a stop. Twenty nine seconds remain. Angelo State brings it past half court with the timeout. They inbound the ball, double team trapped. Nowhere to go. 
They give it up. Lumpston is fouled. Wow, that was a close call at the half court line. Another inbounds pass coming up for Angelo State. There's two fouls to give, or excuse me, one foul to give now for UT Tyler. Lumpston, double team trap, no foul. They tried to do the same thing where Stevens goes at the half court line. And there's the final foul to give. So any foul from this point on will put Angelo State at the free throw line. Lumpston to pass it in. Nowhere to go. Over the top tomorrow. And a foul on Tate as she was going for the basketball. So free throws coming up. This is big. UT Tyler absolutely needs a miss here from Landry Morrow. A 75.8 free throw percentage on the season. And she makes the first three-point game. UT Tyler needs a miss. And it's good. A four-point game timeout with 22 seconds on the clock. Game, UT Tyler basketball. Leading scorer right now is Monte Gutierrez, 16 points, six rebounds for UT Tyler as she's the one inbounding the ball. She gets in into Neal. Neal goes to the paint, left hand layup too strong. Angelo State down on the board and a quick foul. Tough foul right there, or a tough shot to not see that one go in. Stevens makes the first free throw. Five point game. And the second one falls, 17 and a half seconds. UT Tyler will look for a quick three here. No, oh, looks like they're go to, gonna go to the basket. Mendezona can't get it, and a quick foul again. Well, this isn't the way UT Tyler wanted this game to finish. Stevens misses the second. 10 seconds on the clock. As Makalova just puts up a three and that'll do it. UT Tyler had an amazing run on this court. 27 straight games. Dating back to February 12th of 2022. 